Hey everyone, I'm Daniel Cohn, SPIN's Editorial Director, and we're here today with Indigo D'Souza. How are you? I'm great. Hi. <laughs> and well, one of my favorite artists, so I'm really happy that you're able to swing by during this busy weeks. Thank you. And we were just talking off camera, and there is a very important charity that's near and dear to your heart, so I just want to tell everyone about that. Yeah, so all my life I've had extreme mental health issues. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a hard thing to balance when you're a musician and you're traveling all the time. And there isn't, it feels like there's not time to find the right therapist because the systems in place to help you do that are not actually helpful. Um, just meaning like health systems in the US. And um, yeah, I've had a really hard time actually finding support. And then my manager, Madeline, told me about Backline, which is a program that helps people in the mental health industry find therapists. They basically like give you a case manager, and then the case manager pairs you with people that they think might work specifically for you. And they take a lot of time to like understand exactly like what you need. And uh, yeah, and I, I really like don't know what I would have done without them. Um, I reached out to them in the middle of a tour last year where I was basically lo losing my mind and wanted to stop touring um, and uh, I really needed to get on medication and I was just yeah having a hard time finding the right people and they built a team for me that ended up working out really well. That's that's great to hear. What, is, it, is the road just not a friendly place for an artist just because you're on your own? Mental health wise, you're, you're moving around, your, your schedule is a little inconsistent, and is that what kind of was got to you? or what Yeah, was it? well, I don't know if maybe it's not like this for everyone, but for me, it's just like very overwhelming the amount of things that are going on when you're touring. And like for me, I do like a lot of interviews and a lot of photo shoots, and just going from place to place and also managing the energies of everybody in my band and my team. Um, yeah, so it gets overwhelming and I have a hard time compartmentalizing and setting aside time to actually care for myself, which is something that has is still a learning pro process on tour. But yeah, I, I remember like when I linked up with Backline and it became so easy for me all of a sudden to find care, I realized that how like messed up it is that the rest of the world doesn't have that. Like I feel like that should just, it's a great example for how mental health care should be. So do they link you up like with an appointment if you're on the road since it's always in flux? Is like do is there a standing appointment or like or is it like on demand if you need someone something right there and you need to talk to someone and they hook it up? For me it was more like they gave me a case manager and then they asked me about my issues and then kind of dialed in the kind of therapist I needed, the kind of psychiatrist oh, wow. I needed. And then they gave me a list of some people that they recommended and they made sure that they were available and that they'd take my insurance and then they send me all their information so I can reach out to them. Wow, that's yeah. that's incredible. And yeah. I'm sure that <laughs> there's a number of artists that could really use that and it makes yeah. it, it just it cuts out the noise of having to go through your insurance, having to get a referral and it's just it just seems like a great easy way to get the care you need. Yeah, and the, the other thing too is that the people, like most of the therapists that they offer through Backline are therapists that are working with Backline, so they are aware of, of what it's like to be a musician on the road. Like they are used to working with people who are traveling a lot and are doing the kinds of activities that we're doing. Um, so it doesn't feel like you're just talking to a therapist who like doesn't understand what it's like to be on the road. <laughs> it's important. It's a really important thing to get someone who, or talk to someone who understands what you're going through. And what advice would you give to an artist that is struggling with a, some, a similar issue? Um, I think I would just say that your mental health is the top priority. And as cool as it is to be a musician and play big shows and do all this stuff, caring for yourself and making sure that you are putting you first is definitely the most important thing because otherwise you you won't really like be 100 percent there for the experience sweet thank you for that and is there anything else you'd like to tell everyone out there mm, i don't really know i always get stuck when people ask 
me that. There you go. I just, yeah, sending love to everyone. <laughs>